for daily ask reddit r slash ask reddit would you watch a show where a billionaire ceo has to go an entire month on their lowest paid employee's salary without access to any other resources than that of the employee what do you think would happen if you like the video drop a like and subscribe so you never miss a video they'd be fine the problem with poverty is not usually day-to-day -day costs people can adjust to that it's unexpected expenses that are crippling edit why are people still responding two weeks later nobody is reading this thread anymore at least not the responses at the bottom edit 2 rant was too winny if you have something to say who am i to say otherwise it is a mix day to day you can realistically only spend five to ten out of pocket that even a minimum wage worker can deal with but prorate in the monthly costs and it gets crazy in my area a one bedroom in a bad area is still 1200 per month or about 40 dollars a day transit for most people will be at least five dollars and that is cost of mass transit to and from work more of you drive car insurance upkeep gas not having a car is not always an option. On 40 hours at $10 an hour, you are bringing in about $1200 a month. You lose some of that to taxes, but let's be nice and say you get it all. You already cannot afford a studio apartment, so you need a room at. So you have to hopefully find someone sane, but that is not a given. So basically, on your own, on a full-time minimum wage job, you basically are eating garbage to just not be hungry living with 2 to 3 roommates with the same problems you have, and will have no ability to save enough to ever make a difference. $500 is huge savings over a whole year for you, and that is not life-changing at all. I doubt a month is enough to really feel the effect. And a camera team changes everything. I won't trust doing business with a random nobody, but a guy in suit with a whole production team following him? That's a different story. That's why reality shows are intrinsically just shows. Yep, it would need to be hidden camera and such. Nearly every hidden camera show, probably at least 80-90% of them, are not really hidden camera either. You really think the production team can find such good hiding places, with the right camera angles and lighting, and sometimes even moving cameras, for a dozen plus cameras, that the people being filmed don't notice them? All of those shows are bullshit. they are ultimately entertainment and any purported truth is twisted to fit that purpose. It would be incredibly self-serving and boring. They would never truly experience what it is like to be in the precarious position of a minimum wage employee living hand to mouth and the novelty is just salt in the wound. It would be more interesting to see the reverse. Why not both? Or trading places, as we called it back in the 80s. Watch Rich House slash Poor House on YouTube. The UK already has a show exactly like this. There was this similar themed show in Hong Kong and mainland China years ago. They swapped billionaire with bottom feeders, let the rich do the basic job, on the lowest salary, to see how far the rich could go by purely their own effort. Nearly all of the billionaire admitted that they could not make anywhere, regardless of how hard they worked, even working without sleeping and resting, could not give you any accumulation to help climb up to the higher level of the society. There was only despair and admission that the divide between the poor and the rich is already a deep valley and mere personal effort makes little sense. It stirred big debate among the society back then, and I think that was part of the reaons the show got cancelled. There was also another show in China, swapping senior political figures with community level council workers to see how good they could do in each other's posts. The mayors were flooded by the angry mobs who kept asking for more and more benefits that were impossible to fulfill, by the end had to admit the amount of work at basic community level was too much to archive anywhere. The show also got cancelled quite soon after a few episodes. I love reality shows, so I'd watch it depending on who produces it. If it's too fake, with too many emotional moments, advertising and people shouting, I'm out. X Factor singer, I can't sing, but my granny died an hour ago and told me to follow my dream. Hosts, you son of a- I'm in. Here we have Elliot. Elliot is a Down syndrome paraplegic who got disfigured when his plane crashed on the way to his dream vacation. He spent the next four months in a medically induced coma while the doctors found a replacement for his- that got torn off. Also, he can sing moderately good. Here he is. Judges. Jim that golden buzzer. 
It's more than just the money. It's the lack of security these people endure. Not knowing if you'll lose your job tomorrow and having no savings. Being kicked out of your home. An unexpected bill you can't afford, which may lead to increasing debt. Putting these rich people in a poor lifestyle for a month isn't enough. Even if they lost their money and homes, they'll have such a huge network that they'll be back on their feet in the time it takes for us peons to earn enough to eat for a week. They can never truly understand what it's like to be poor or ever face that reality again. So what would happen? It'd be a completely self-serving advert about how now I realize that we need to do more for our employees. The workers get a small vanity bonus. Probably give an immigrant worker with limited English a car, pat themselves on the back. Then two weeks later, we've all forgotten about the show and they'll go back to their old ways.